Create a manhole detail. Standard details are an important part of any design project. They provide specifications and guidelines for aspects of a construction project where little or no change takes place from one instance to another. This is an economical design solution used in project development, with the same details often being used across multiple projects. An example of this might be the installation of a manhole. The majority of the manholes installed in a project would be the same regardless of their location in the project. To assist in construction, a standard drawing or standard detail of the manhole would be created and added to the project's construction document set. This standard detail would be then referenced in the design wherever a manhole was called out. In this lesson, you will begin creating a manhole frame and cover detail adding this to an existing set of standard details. While you work through the lessons in this course, you will create a model, place line, place shape, use point on snap, use AccuDraw origin and smart lock shortcuts. Here in MicroStation, let's open the site plan details DGN file. This can be located in the DGN 05 Additional Drawing Tools folder. Once we've entered completely into graphics, from the Home tab in the Primary Ribbon group, Open Models. Here we can see a variety of models, each representing a standard detail that is stored in the DGN. A model needs to be added for the manhole detail that is to be created. From the Models dialog, pick Create a New Model and set the following for the type Design 2D. In the Name field, type in Manhole, Frame, and Cover. For the description, Manhole, Frame, and Cover Detail. In the Reflogical field, type Manhole Detail. For the Annotation Scale, set this to 1 inch equals 1 foot, and enable the option Propagate. In the Cell Properties section, enable the option Ability to Place as Cell. When finished, click OK. Next, let's head to the Backstage and select Design File Settings. With the Design File Settings dialog open, set the working units. For the format, select MU. For the master unit, US Survey Inches. In the Label field, double quote for inches. Set the accuracy to 0.12. Next, set the angle readout as follows. For the format, decimal degrees, for the accuracy, 0.12, for the direction mode, azimuth, and for the base, east. Pick OK and return to the design canvas. Take note, with the linear unit format set to MU, the subunit is not used and therefore does not need to be changed. From the quick access toolbar, pick Save settings. This will permanently save the setting changes and will make the manhole frame and cover model the active model when the file is opened. From view attributes, disable level overrides. From attributes, set the active level as detail 02. and the color, line style, and line weight by level. Next, we're going to be creating the manhole section profile. From the placement ribbon group in the Home tab, under More Tools, pick Place Shape. Anywhere in the lower portion of the view window, 
Begin creating the shape with a data point, bringing AccuDraw into focus. AccuDraw can be used in either the rectangular or polar coordinate readout mode as desired. Note, the shape, when completed, will be a single element that can be easily measured, patterned, and labeled. Now, move the cursor to the right, key in a distance of 3.5, and place a data point. Next, move the cursor upward, key in a distance of 6.0, and place a data point. Now, bring your cursor to the right and key in 1.5. Move your cursor straight up and key in 1. Move your cursor now to the left and key in 1.5. Moving in the upward direction now, key in 1. Coming across the top to the left, key in 1. And now we're going to go in a downward direction, keying in 7. When you reach this point, move the cursor predominantly to the left. Press the Enter to issue the AccuDraw Smart Lock shortcut. The cursor is now indexed to the horizontal axis and will only move left or right. Move the cursor to this location. Using AccuSnap, locate the end of the line and accept this location with a data point. Complete the shape by snapping to the beginning of the shape and placing a final data point. In our next step, we'll be adding the point on snap mode to the snap mode toolbox. In the Drawing Aids ribbon tab from the Snaps ribbon group, Click the Snap Mode icon to open the Snap Mode Toolbox. With the cursor over the Snap Mode Toolbox, right click and add the Point On Snap. The Point On Snap Mode will be used to help place the next line segment precisely. Dock the Snap Mode Toolbox into the interface by dragging the toolbox to the lower portion of the MicroStation Connect Edition's user interface. Take note, you may prefer to access the snap modes from the docked toolbox rather than the status bar. The location in which you dock the toolbox is one of personal preference. You may dock the snap mode toolbox in the location of your choosing. From the placement ribbon group in the home tab, pick place line. And in the tool settings, set the following. For the length, disabled, angle, 64. Begin placing the line at the location shown here. Observe that the angle of the line is fixed, but the length is variable. We wish to have the line exactly meet the vertical line. From the Snap Mode Toolbox, pick Point On. Anywhere along its length, pick the vertical line with a data point. Press Reset to terminate the Place Line command. We have now completed the first portion of the manhole detail geometry. In the next lesson, we will complete the manhole detail. In this lesson, a manhole detail drawing was started by creating a profile for one side of the detail. Your drawing skills were further enhanced by using new drawing commands and additional AccuDraw shortcuts, as well as accessing the snap modes. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.